The defense began presenting its case for Eric Molitor and brothers William and Michael Null, the last three men charged in the plot to kidnap the governor. The defendants are charged with illegal firearm possession and providing material support to terrorist acts. Three witnesses testified today, including defendant Eric Molitor. Up North Live's Daniel Zivian joins us live with how Molitor told his side of the story. Daniel. Mark, Eric Molitor testified that he in no way supported the plot to kidnap Governor Whitmer. He claims he was unaware of anything happening until it was revealed to him by the later convicted Adam Fox during the security trip to Whitmer's residence on Birch Lake. Molitor said on the stand that when Fox invited him to scope out a, quote, high-profile vacation home in August 2020, he thought Fox was referring to potential protest activity or damage. He said this assumption was based on his actions that summer, saying he formed his own local defense force in light of unrest around the country. Molitor admitted to looking up Governor Whitmer's address and taking surveillance video during the ride, saying that he collaborated out of concern for his own safety, not as a will conspirator what happens if you don't what happens if you don't do this stuff you know he wasn't saying shoot somebody that would have been a hard no he didn't say blow something up that would have been a hard no he said take a video I took a video is there anything else you're thinking about at that point Bill I don't I don't know right now man I don't know I was just trying to get home I just wanted to get home Molitor testified that he never took an oath to join a militia, though Fox had attempted to swear him in. The defense also examined Lane Lunsford, a man who attended militia trainings and competitions with Molitor, and Molitor's mother, Susan, who testified that he was peaceful and positively engaged with local politics. Court resumes at 9 a.m. tomorrow. The state has yet to cross-examine Molitor on his testimony. Live in Antrim County, Daniel Zivian, Up North Live News. And we'll continue our coverage from inside the courtroom when the trial resumes. You can join us on our website, Up North Live, or on any of our social media, including Facebook, YouTube, and X.